Hello everyone and welcome to Jacket Educational Channel. So we are in the continuation of the rapid revision and those who haven't checked the previous two revision video you can check the link given in the description below. So let's start today's revision. First question we are going to start is question number 51 because we have already completed the half century in the last video. So the question is about match the following in the types of lake with their characteristics. So first we'll see the oligotrophic lakes that means they'll be having low nutrient concentration so A will match with option 3. Next comes dystrophic lakes so they are with low pH and high humic condition so they will match with option 4. Similarly eutrophic lakes are having more nutrient concentration and volcanic lakes are having magmatic water. So accordingly the option number 3 will be the correct option for this question. Let's move to the next question. The next question is a numerical and we are not doing the numerical because we'll make a video separately for all the numericals. So let's move to the next question. So this 53 is the layers formed by the thermal stratification in lakes are what? So we have to select the correct option and here the correct option will be option number 4. Yes, the upper layer is known as epilimnion followed by the metalimnion which is also called as thermocline and the lowermost one is known as hypolimnion. Let's move to the next question. The next question is which one of the following is used as a microbial indicator of water contamination? So here the correct option will be option number 1 coliform bacteria. So most probable number that is MPN used to determine the number of coliform present in water contamination. Let's move to the next question which is a numerical so we have to skip this. The question number 56 is during the determination of COD that is chemical oxygen demand the sulfonylic acid is added because of which of the following reasons. So here the correct option will be option number 3. Yes, the sulfonylic acid is used to oxidize the nitrites to nitrate that means NO2- to NO3-. Let's move to the next question. The next question number 57 is which of the following parameters is not a good indicator of contamination in groundwater? So here the correct option will be option number 3 silica yes it is not a good indicator but chloride nitrates and VOD are the indicator of water contamination in ground zone. Let's move to 58th question the question number 58 states which state of chromium is most toxic. So the correct option will be option number 4 chromium 6 plus. So let's move to the question number 59. So the question 59 is an assertion and reasoning type of question. So assertion the statement states groundwater may get seriously contaminated in coastal region. So the reason states groundwater overdrafts near coastal areas and can contaminate groundwater supply by allowing salt water to intrude into the fresh water. So here the correct option will be option number one. Yes because it is the both assertion and reasoning are correct. And reason is the correct explanation because if there is sea that is the coastal region then sea water can intrude into the groundwater and the salt water can make it contaminated. Let's move to the next question. So these two questions are numerical so we have to skip this. The 62 question that is 67 question is about the correct sequence of a typical sewage treatment plant operation. So choose the correct option and here the correct option will be option number one. Yes, the first process is aeration followed by flocculation, sedimentation, decarbonation, filtration and disinfection. So note it down, it is very important. So the next question is about the question number 64. The question 64 states, mesothelioma is caused by the toxicity of which of the following elements? So here, the correct option will be option number three, asbestos. So asbestos causes mesothelioma that is respiratory issues and let's move to the next question the next question which is question number 66 is the settling of discrete non fluctuating particle in a dilute suspension is known as what so here the correct option will be option number one yes it is the kind of class one sedimentation so you can go and check what are the different types of sedimentation let's move to the next question the next question is question number 67 that is the theoretical oxygen demand for a solution containing 500 mg per liter of phenol will be what? So I will tell you the option that is the 1191 mg per liter will be the answer but you should calculate that and we will discuss in the next video when we will make the numerical question. 
नेक्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी एट क्वेश्चन सिक्सटी एट आस्क आर्सेनिक कंपाउंड कॉज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग डिजीज हियर The correct option will be option number two, dermatitis. So it is related to dermatology. That is, skin disease is caused by arsenic compound. Let's move to the next question. The next question is according to the Water Prevention and Control of Pollution Act. So according to that, what should be the BOD level in wastewater permitted to be released inland by the industry? So here, the correct option will be option number one. Thirty milligram per liter is the limit. permissible to the industries let's move to the next question next is question number 70 the most toxic among the chlorinated hydrocarbon is what so here the correct option will be option number 3 endrin is the most toxic among all these chlorinated hydrocarbons time for the 71st question the 71st question is coagulation is a chemical process in which charged particles or colloids Undergo which of the following reaction? So here, the correct option is option number two. The charged particle or colloids undergo destabilization reaction in the coagulation technique. Let's move to the next question. The next question is the blue baby syndrome is caused by which of the following elements? So this is one of the frequently asked question, and the correct option will be option number two, nitrate, which is NO three minus. Let's move to the next question. So we have to skip as it is a numerical question number seventy-four. We'll look at so which one of the following is a neurotoxic? That means which element is toxic to the neurological system of our body? So here, the correct option will be option number one. That is organophosphate pesticides. Let's move to the next question. The seventy-fifth question is which of the following reverses as maximum meltwater component? In its discharge, yes, this kind of question also is asked in that exam. So here, the correct option will be option number one in the river. So no need to worry about this. This kind of question will be very few. So let's move to the next question. Next question is identify the pair that is the element along with the health effect which is correctly matched. And here, the correct option will be option number three. mercury is correctly matched as it causes nervous disorder so you don't need to look for the wrongly matched because it will be in your mind and it can cause confusion in examination let's move to the next question the next question is according to world health organization who the maximum permissible level of chlorides in our drinking water is what so don't get confused by the bis level and who so both are different and according to who the correct option will be option number 3 Six hundred milligram per liter. The next question is which one of the following states of mercury is volatile in nature? So the correct option will be option number three. The atomic state of the mercury is volatile in nature. Let's move to the next question. The next question is aquifers that extend continuously from the land surface through the material of high permeability are called as what? Correct option will be option number four, unconfined aquifers. Let's move to the next question. The next question is the drastic reduction in the number of intestinal pathogens during activated sludge process is the overall result of which of the following process? So here it is asking about the treatment of water, and the correct option will be option number four, that is competition, adsorption, predation, and settling are the reason. For the number of intestinal pathogens are reduced during the activated sludge process. The next question is about the disease black foot. So it is asking black foot disease is caused by which of the following elements? So discussed as the arsenic is reason for the dermatitis. So similarly, arsenic is also the reason reason for the black foot disease. Let's move to the next question. The next question is largest amount of fresh water is found in which of the part? So here the correct option will be the largest amount of fresh water is trapped in the polar ice which is in northern and southern pole region. Let's move to the next question. The next question is about the percentage of water similarly it is asking percentage of water on the world surface representing fresh water is what? So we discussed this question in the last video also and it is approximately 3%. The next question is 
which one of the following chemical species of mercury is highly toxic to living system so it is also one of the frequent asked question and the correct option will be option number 3 organo mercury so among mercury if it is asked then it will be methyl mercury let's move to the next question next question is about the mass balance approach and this numerical i have already solved in a video whose link is given in the description below you can go and check it out the next question is about match the following you have to match correctly with the disease caused by which element so here you have to match one by one so mercury is the disease which is caused by the minamata disease which is caused by mercury then next comes the nitrate nitrogen which causes methamoglobinemia then cadmium causes itai itai disease which is also known as ouch ouch disease and coal causes silicosis disease so let's move to the next question the next question is the metal which is generally absorbed by the plants along with zinc and causes ouch ouch that is itai itai disease which discussed in the last question is what so the correct option will be option number 2 cadmium the next question is as per who standards the maximum permissible level of coliform organisms per 100 ml of drinking water is how much so they are the indicator of water pollution and the correct option will be option number 1 10 coliform organism that is mpn per 100 ml of drinking water let's move to the next question the next question is question number 89 The question says poorly nourished lakes are known as what? So that means they are having less nutrient, poorly nutrient available. So the correct option will be option number one, oligotrophic lakes. The ninetieth question is the treatment designed to remove non-biodegradable organic pollutants and mineral nutrients from wastewater is called as what? So the correct option. will be option number 4 tertiary treatment yes in tertiary treatment non biodegradable organic pollutants are removed so let's move to the final test question to reach our century but this will be in the different format namami gange project was announced in which of the following year so this project was designed for the ganga cleaning and the correct option will be option number c 2014 let's move to the next question The next question is deficiency of rainfall compared to the average mean annual rainfall in an area is called as what kind of drought? So here the correct option will be option number C. It is called as meteorological drought. The next question is which is not a major cause of flood? So here the correct option will be option number C. Eutrophication because deforestation and debris blockage in river are one of the causes for the flood let's move to the next question the next question is algal bloom follows which growth curve so here the correct option will be option number d they follow j shaped curve let's move to the next question the next question is tropic state index of aquatic ecosystem is determined by the concentration of what so here the correct option will be Option number C. Yes, chlorophyll A determines the tropic state index of an aquatic ecosystem. Time for the next question. The next question is coral bleaching is seen when and here the correct option will be option number C both. Yes, due to temperature changes and salinity changes, the coral bleaching is seen in ocean. Let's move to the next question. Next question is acid responsible for the acidity of normal rainwater is what? So here the correct option will be option number D carbonic acid yes nitric acid and sulfuric acid are related to acid rain but when it is asking about normal rain water the correct option will be carbonic acid time for the next question the next question is which is not a process in a hydrological cycle so the correct option will be option number D transition is not a process in hydrological cycle but condensation runoff and infiltration are related to hydrological cycle So here we have completed 100 questions related to water topic and I hope you have enjoyed this and we will continue this series so don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and if you haven't subscribed the channel till now don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the further updates all the best to everyone